How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Iper sent me this portable power station and it has 173 watt hours of energy in it. Now, what does this mean? It means if you have a light bulb that is 173 watts, it can power it for one whole hour. Now, this is actually quite a bit of power. It can recharge my power hungry laptop three times over. Your smartphone, it can charge it 15 times. It can run a TV for two hours. Now, this is very interesting for me because over here in California and over in Texas, there's this very interesting thing called Ohm hours uh, through Ohm Connect. I have a referral link down in the video description below where you can actually turn off your electricity usage for one whole hour. They'll text message you and stuff. And then I can use this thing to power whatever I need. For example, I can connect like a light or something and it'll consume, I don't know, seven to 10 watts or something. And this thing will actually run it. And I've actually used it to do that. So now let me just unbox this and show you guys what's inside. You have the packaging, looks fine. Well, I kind of like this packaging whenever it has foam in it, so that's neat. Got the power bank over here, nothing else inside. 12 volt charger, and this end goes over here at the end, like that. And you also have your AC adapter that also plugs in here. Now at one end, you charge it over here and you also have a 12 volt adapter and two barrel plug output things. There's also a type C output, a quick charge 3.0, a 5 volt 2.1 amp port, and then also another regular USB port. You just kind of press and hold it. And the flashlight turns on, you see? This is not super duper bright, but it'll do in a pinch. Also very important in the front here is that you have this AC output so that you can plug in your regular AC stuff like your light bulbs and whatever else that you need up to 200 watts peak. Over here you have the LCD. If you press it, it's going to turn on. It gives its temperature of the battery itself that the DC is enabled and that the USB is on and the type C USB is also on. So basically all the DC stuff on this side is turned on automatically when you turn this thing on, you just press and hold it and the DC stuff will turn on. Now, if you want the AC stuff to turn on, you have to press and hold the AC button specifically, and then it'll go, okay, AC is on, and it has this little square wave thing. I hope it's not square wave, but um, the AC is on uh, with this little icon, which means over here, it's hot now. Okay, so I have all the lights off because I needed to plug it into this thing to show you guys how it works. I have over here a desk lamp sort of thing. It consumes about 25 watts. So let me plug it in here onto this you know, power cord thingy. So now you see it turns on. This is fully on this little unit thing and it says AC on 21 degrees C. I have a kilowatt connected to this and it says it's consuming about 23 watts right now. So now I'm going to connect another lamp. This consumes about 35 watts. So I'm gonna add that to this. Okay, turns on. And yet again, I'm gonna add one more. This is another 35 watts for a total of, right now it's 56 watts. So it seems like it has a little bit of issue. There's a thing called an inrush current with these things. Usually with these LED lamps right when you plug it in. It might require more drain immediately for a very short time than this thing would allow, which means that it goes, oh no, I can't uh, give enough energy to start it, but then it can give enough once it's started, if that makes sense. So it's it doesn't have enough oomph to, to start the LED. So now, you know, I can try it again and it should work. There you go, it works now and it says it's consuming a total of 98 watts, 99 watts or so. So this thing can do, uh, it says 150 watts at the most, but I feel like if I keep on plugging stuff into this, um, that requires more and more inrush current, it might not actually start it. So you have to watch out for um, the devices that you plug in. Do they require a big inrush at the beginning in order to start or can it get plugged in and it can sort of just go all the way up to 150 watts, which is the most that this thing can do on average and 200 watts for peak power, then yes, it can start it. But if you have all these at the same time going, it might 
overload it momentarily for like, I don't know how long, milliseconds or something. So let me demonstrate this by, if I unplug the whole thing, all three lights at the same time, and then I plug it in, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's it, it just kind of, see look, the LEDs are just kind of <laughs> flashing like that. However, if I unplug one, okay, now it has enough current to push that, I'll plug it back in, now it would start. So this thing is actually on one of those crowdfunding websites. If you guys are interested, you can check out their affiliate link down in the video description below. Also down in the video description below, it's my own connect referral link, so check that out as well. Thanks for watching everybody.